We have had the incredible good fortune of having musician, singer, songwriter Bridget Kalen on with us this morning, talking very candidly about her recent diagnosis of breast cancer. Bridget, we are most certainly going to check back in with you to see how you're doing. But before before we let you go here on Great Day Live, I mean, one of the things we've always loved over the years since 2011, I mean, you have been one of our favorite repeat guests, and we always feel so just honored when we've had you in studio and now, of course, here in any way that we can have you. <laughs> One thing I I wanted to ask before we go, I mean, you you do music lessons. You have um, a, a okay. I'm gonna say this wrong. A Patreon. Patreon. You did Patreon it. Patreon account. Which, if you don't know what that is, that's how you can show appreciation for your favorite performers. And you've had tons and tons of gigs that have been canceled. The your whole industry. I mean, yeah, yeah. 2020 okay. wrecked. <laughs> And, you know, and, and it's interesting because I love seeing how the community wrap their arms around the hospitality industry and restaurants, but I really um, didn't start seeing that same until really recently because I, I don't think people wrap their heads around, I mean, what that actually has meant to people. Yes. And to so many layers of people from the musicians to the musicians bands, like, you know, my bass player hasn't had a gig either, except he doesn't have a big yeah. Twitter following. So, and then, you know, the sound engineers, the venues. So it's, it's multi-layered and the whole arts community has had quite a year. And we we want to support you. We, I mean, I, I haven't met a single person who doesn't want you know, doesn't want us to come back, but to come back better and, and, and in different ways. Don't forget the lessons we've learned, but also to be able to just be back together. So how can people support you now? Uh, my my main website, BridgetGalen.com, has a ton of links. I'm all over social media and um, Facebook. As far as support directly, you could become a patron on my Patreon page, or um, you could also consider paying it forward to another artist or stagehand or somebody you know or arts organization that uh, doesn't have the spotlight that I have, too. So I like to, when I get paid, I split it with my band and others also. So paying it forward is a big thing for me. I don't think that... Um... There's anybody who would be surprised at all that and given an opportunity to share how people can support you, <laughs> share how we can support others. We love you, Bridget, and we look mm. forward to checking back in and continuing on this journey with you. But what are you going to play for us? I couldn't decide, but I think since we talked about my parents and such, I'm going to do a song that I wrote during uh, my caregiving days. And it, it's in particular, this one's called 18 months later. And it's about that kind of strange waiting period when my mom was living past her prognosis. It sounds really morose, but the song's not terribly morose. It's just, um, I think it's a feeling we all know now that we don't know when COVID's going to be over or how it's going to be over. And we want to go on with our lives, but we can't. And then we feel guilty. And then we, anyway, it's a lot of feelings we've got. So this one is about that. Once again, you can support Bridget by going to BridgetKalen.com, and I promise you, if you do, you'll be supporting lots of other people who deserve it as well. Here's Bridget Kalen. Thank you, Angie. We hold hands and sit around just being here. Glass of whiskey and no time to waste. Pressure is on to ask all the questions before it's too late. We made the best of the holidays when we thought she was on her way. But 18 months later, and what can I say to her now? She seems okay. But I won't count on a miracle now. I'll just think the night. slow time. It's out. It's out of my hands. Living on pause and enjoying because we couldn't. But we can't. 
can't make plans. Alexander of Aphrodisias took the salt and put it aside. And then, of course, Jesus of Nazareth, he took the water and turned it to wine. But I won't count on a miracle now I'll just think the night and I don't tell you miracle doubt I've got faith in time Still what I wanted to know But I don't know the questions to ask So let's make a toast The water of life that we hide In our flasks Know that the God is right here in our glasses Nothing indicative of more than just a quick text through a lyrical mess right here. Now, love, love all the time. On a miracle now, 